Two Lincoln High School students in Sioux Falls will have their artwork displayed in Carnegie Hall in New York this summer. Jada Carlson and McKinnon Folkerts received high honors through the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. Out of 350,000 submissions, they're in the top 1%. Their art teacher could not be more thrilled. It's actually not only nationwide, but um, it's international too. So for the students to receive gold medals is amazing. Oh, congratulations. The girls' work will be displayed on June 5th through the 7th in a series of ceremonies and art shows in New York City. Some young cheerleaders in Kelloland are making history. For the first time, Dakota Spirit's Youth Level 3 team is earning a bid to the summit at Walt Disney World. Kelloland's Matt Holson shows you what the accomplishment means to the team. These cheerleaders have been holding each other up since June, and now all their time and efforts are being rewarded with a trip to the summit in Florida. It means that we're one of the best teams in the country and we're going to work really hard against the other big teams. It's the first time Dakota Spirit is sending a youth level squad to the national competition considered the Olympics of cheer. The group is made up of kids from second to sixth grade. Blaze team member Izzy Hosek is taking pride in being a part of history. I've been doing this for, since I was four years old and I've been dreaming of doing this for so long. The cheerleaders got the word this week they'll be heading to Walt Disney World for the competition in May. Cheer coach Stephanie Farwell says the team works together for five hours a week to make it happen. They were pretty excited. There was a lot of screaming and jumping and um, some tears as well. They're just super excited to see that their hard work is paying off. You'd think they'd be nervous going up against some of the country's top talent, but nine-year-old Ashlyn DeYoung is confident in her crew. Because um, my team practices really hard and I know that we're always going to hit. In Sioux Falls, Matt Holson, Kelloland News. The cheerleaders say their sport is different from others, like basketball, because instead of trying to score points, the team is trying to impress a table of judges. A 